here we are, first fumble in the Colts game. Uh, just worthy, just Jackson changing the play. Um, has to, Sakura has to block this one tech. Ball comes off his inside of his heel. You know, it's a decent block. He maintains it. At least uh, the Ravens recover. That ball has, as he's brought the ball through, that ball has slipped out of his hand and just hit his heel. So, uh, first bad play. Let's see what happens next to the fumble. Just want to watch it through. All we're looking here at is the centre. You know, this is a proper RPO offence. The ball's slightly outside the frame to Jackson, but still feels the ball. You know, good response. Now we're looking at the centre. Um, this is going to be a twist, a, a blitz twist. The defence are going to throw a lot of it. I don't know the scheme they run, so I'm not going to talk about the depth the centre drops to. But what the I am going to talk about is the technique. Okay, so he's got his eyes to the left. His shoulders are still square. He sees the, the stunt crossing his face and um, is still able to pick up the the blitz, the twist from the defensive tackle. The key here is that he's still square. Whilst he's given up some ground, he's still in control of this block. Um, that's something that we definitely didn't have from Carraris this year. Look at the centre, and again, we're going to look at skip pull. It's called a skip pull. So the lineman, he's had to block down to 90. He's now, now going to navigate the guard. Again, you're going to see him pop out. His shoulders are square. This is still a, this is a good job. This is a, um, a, a screen pass, essentially. Um, so now he's running, athletic, he's athletically running into the backfield. Now, the problem here is that his, angle, his shoulders are square. So the running back doesn't know which way he's going to go. I'd like to see him press the shoulder of the linebacker a little bit better, which he does. But now the, running, the angle of the running back has changed the angle the linebacker needs to take. If the running back had bounced outside, it would have brought the linebacker through the block. So what's good is, down block initially, skip pole navigates the guard, keeps his shoulders square, uh, leads the running back out into the backfield, could have done better with attacking the linebacker, but could have got a little bit more help from his uh, running back. You know, this is a solid job and something we haven't seen too much from uh, the centre Carreras this year. At the centre, it's going to be an outside zone play. We've got motion, the shifts the defence. Now, the centre's done a good job to get across. He's got leverage. You can see that his head's across the defender, but then he doesn't get his hips around. He tries to long arm the defender. Now the defender's got defensive leverage. This is all a bit of a mess. There's not a clear gap initially, and now you can see that the guard... And the uh, sorry, the guard and the tackle on the tight end have opened something there, but the issue is that our boy has lost control here, and that it's just a poor job really. Um, I had seen it before when I reviewed the Colts game. We'll just look at it again at full speed, um, but because it's happened two or three times now, just really raising it as a problem. Good initial first step doesn't get his really doesn't get his hips around. I'm not sure if he's expecting help from the right guard, but could. You know, did okay, but could have done better. Um, and really, the defender wins the play on that one.